Welcome back, all of you, once again, with respect to the Future Omics Bioinformatics Made Easy YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can perform the molecular docking using computational approach. So definitely, guys, that earlier, um, I have uploaded many videos regarding how you can perform the docking. Uh, using the computational or as using the bioinformatics databases or the tools, right? Or as the software as the same. And uh, with the same, today we are going to see that how we can perform the molecular docking using EasyDoc Vena as a one of the application, right? So I hope that you all of you do know that what exactly mean by molecular docking. So molecular docking is a one of the computational techniques that predicts how a small molecule, basically a ligand, we used to call as in the CAD, that is computation, computational edit drug designing approach. So that particular small molecule in the form of ligand, how it's bind to the macromolecular targets from a suitable complex, right? And this is basically used in the drug development to study the biomolecular interactions. So as you all know that, guys, uh, the beautiful structure which is represented on your screen, it's about a cavity which contain the ligand. So basically, it contain a particular cavity. As you all can see, guys, here that... This is nothing but the pocket region, right? Where the drug in the form of ligands has been bind. And this is a cavity region where we used to find against the particular protein target. So whatever you can see that the area is nothing but we used to call as the active site or as the pocket region. And number of time, the specific ligand will go and bind in this specific cavity or as the active region against the specific protein target what we are looking for, right? And this is very uh, good way to interpret our results with respect to the drug designing or as a drug discovery point of view, right? So today in this particular video, as I mentioned earlier, that I'm going to show you a demo on how you can use the easy doc vena. So I hope that you all of you do know that what, what is autodoc vena, right? Where we can perform the molecular docking with respect to the Vena application, and we can perform the multiple ligands, right? At a time against a single protein target. And then we can even get a better interacting residues with the different cavity sites, right? So in this context, you all of you can see that where this is the link where I'm going to share in the tutorial, right? It's about the Easy Doc Vena. So it is a free tool again to perform the multiple receptor ligand docking. So multiple receptor is nothing but where we can take the one receptor of our protein target and then we can perform the multiple ligand docking using again Autodoc as an application again. But here, what is the difference that I'm going to show you today, right? So I have even shared all the files related for your reference, guys. And today, um, with the same, as you all can see that Autodoc Vena, again, it's a free with respect to the Easy Doc Vena. It is one of the popular, again, docking program, which namely call as the Autodoc Vena, okay, uh, where you can even get the better interactive residues with the interaction. But it's very simple, guys. You don't need to perform a, a huge number of commands or the scripts, right? You can get only one script on your screen, that is what it's called as an easy, right? So why we are calling like it's easy doc Vena because ultimately it will run on the Vena application, the program. But here you have to just give only one command to run your multiple drugs for the docking. Okay, so that is how exactly we can do that. The simple example I'm going to show you. For the reference, you all of you can refer this. Okay, the tutorial is going to share in this link, right? So you need the files. So which files you need it is nothing but the receptor in the form of PDBQT. Ligand again in the form of PDBQTs. Okay, so if you have a one ligand, so you can give one. Or else if you have the multiple ligands, so you can create one folder. And in that you can provide the list of all ligands 
okay you can give 10 100 200 accordingly then you have to definitely provide a config file what is config file and what you can provide that i'm going to show you right now and additional to that you have to get the results in the form of results.txt got it so this is one example um, script what i'm providing you so you can directly copy this and paste in your cmd command okay and uh, now i'm going to show you how to go in the specific folder so the folder basically which contain the information about all the files as you all can see guys over here we have the first thing available on your screen it's nothing but the pdbqt of receptor right so 1mq4.pdbqt so how to convert this the earlier tutorial i have already been shared right whereas as you all can see that this one right so you can get through my GitHub account. You can just download the folder itself. So from there, you can easily download this, right? And then once you just download, so you will find this is the default files, which will be available if you just download the whole folder. So how to download the whole folder, I'm going to show you right now. Simple thing, what you have to do, guys, is that You have to just click on code and then download the zip. Once you just download the zip, unzip your particular file and then all the particular files with vena.exe, config.txt, okay, and easydoc vena will be available in the extension, right? So just think what you have to do, guys, is that you have to change the receptor of protein of your interest, right? So here I have given the default right but you can just change what you have of based on your interest right and uh, the ligands i'm going to show you um the thing is that here you can even come up by the ligands right so how to do that i'm going to show you right now so uh, so first create a folder that will be a good to all of you so once you just create a folder with the name so in the folder you will find the default files which are there as I mentioned earlier, this will be the default. Right. So these are the default files where it's really important to carry out the docking study. Right. The next thing you can change is nothing but you can get the PDBQT file of your protein and the ligands. So now I'm going to show you that what is there basically in the ligand folder so whenever you are creating like multiple files of pdb qt with respect to the drugs or the ligands so make sure that you make one folder right so in that particular folder just double click on that and then you will find it contain the so i will just delete this right huh. so this contain the two files right First is ligand1.pdbqt and second is ligand2.pdbqt. Here I have given only two PDB IDs, right? So you can give like 100 also over here, right? So you can give the 100 uh, PDBQTs of your interest, the ligand if you're interested, or else you can even give like 1000 also. Got it? So at a time, you can give, do the multiple docking with easy dock Vena, right? So now I'm going to show you that how you can do quickly the easy docking. So one thing it's clear, right? So when we have the all the files which required for the easy dock Vena with exe extension, second, we have the protein.pdbqt. Third, we have a folder which contain the ligands in the form of pdbqt. Once you have these three things, then the most important thing what we require is nothing but the config, right? So config.txt. If you just double click on that, you all of you can see that in the config, this thing should be there. Okay. So this is what the config is about, which give you the X, Y, and z coordinates right so you will get this from the active site prediction tool again the tutorial is available in my channel 
and then x, y, and z sides you have to provide. And then simply save this. Once you just save, then the simple thing what you have to do is that you have to go back and then launch the particular CMD command, right? So, so I'm going to just launch the CMD command. So the CMD command, what I'm going to launch is directly from the The folder, right? The folder what we are going to use accordingly. Got it? So I'm going to launch now CMD command. Once I do that, the simple thing what you all have to do, guys, is that once you just launch the CMD command prone. Just then you have to go back in your folder. Okay, which folder you're going to go back? So this is a config file. I'm going to close this. So now we are there in the CMD command, right? And you all of you can see here that it's the same folder. Just go here, then copy and launch the CMD command and just write CD space, enter, right? So once it's done, then what you all have to do guys is nothing but you have to go back in the GitHub link, scroll down, right? And then just copy this, right? So once you just copy, then paste that, okay? So what we have done is that uh, we have given one command, very simple, okay? In, within one, I'm going to make as a full screen and then, then I'm going to maximize this so that all of you will understand what the command we have written for the same, got it? So we have mentioned the command called as the easy doc, Vina doc, okay. Then the receptor, what we have given. So that is important. And after that, we have to give the, right? So now, so once the thing you have given from here, so this is really important, guys. Okay, so for the reference, I have given this, in my GitHub account. So you can just refer from there. The one thing what you have to do, make sure that you will get this thing. It's nothing but you can just change the receptor based on the PDB QT what you have, right? So just change the receptor based on your PDB ID. And in the ligands, we have a ligand folder which contain all the PDB QT. One ligand one dot PDB QT ligand2.pdbqt. So we have given only two ligands over here. And followed with that, we have even provided the config file, right? Which contain the XYZ coordinates with the size XYZ. Got it? And then one more thing which is remaining, which is called as the results. So whatever the results which get up here, it will come up with the results.txt. Got it? And that results.txt, you can get with the running this command. Okay. So now, Simple, go ahead and just click on enter, okay? So you all of you can see guys have a look on the screen. So it's it's start running. It's telling of VNUM or the easy doc VNUM with the version 1.1 and it started starting the docking with 1MQ4 with the two ligands. It will again tell you very much clearly like how many ligands you have given, right? So two ligands are there, right? And once it has a two ligand, so it is performing the, which is that in the folder, right? And the date and the time will even get shared you and the results will be available in the output file, 
that is results.txt. Clear? And all of you can see that uh, here they have given only one pose of the mode. So we got the highest interaction that is minus 5.9. Clear? The second uh, ligand has given that is ligand.pdbqt is minus 4.4. Minus 5.4, right? So it's very simple, guys. I hope you all of you get that, right? Very simple command. Only one command is required, right? Only single command. But make sure before running the single command, you have done the processing of converting PDB of protein to PDBQT and ligand in the form of SDF, okay, in the form of PDBQT. If you, these two things are done, then simply copy copy the specific script which is available in the github for your reference okay again that i have made very much easy for all of you so you can just copy that paste in the one command with the folder where you have provided the data and just run okay and just wait for some couple of minutes right so the results will get appear on your screen this is the one thing the followed with that we have one more results which get appear on our screen is nothing but the same folder where we have done the Docking, right? So you can see that here is the file which get up here. If you just open again, so you will have the same data in the form of txt, right? So the same results are get up here over here. Clear? Right? So that is what you all of you can see that the results get up here. So whatever you think the best docking is there, so you can just pull out that and then get the interactions using PyMol. Again, that PyMol tutorial I have provided where you can get to know the protein and ligand interaction of your best doc complex, right? So I hope that you all of you have understand the tutorial with easy doc Vina. okay? Whoever the researchers are facing challenges to perform the docking with Autodoc Vina script, right? But here we have only single command and I think that will really help you a lot to get the best talking of your interest, right? So just this, all the tutorials I'm going to, with the reference, I'm going to provide you so that you will get the reference and then you can just move ahead for the docking, right? So download this code in the form of zip. Again, I'm just showing you. Once you just download in the zip, unzip that in the specific folder, and then you will have this, right? X5, Z coordinates, clear? Okay. So thank you guys once again. So if you just like the tutorials, please hit the like button and you can share with your friends if they are also performing the same docking study, right? And stay tuned for more tutorials, which has been shared by the Futuromics Bioinformatics Made Easy. Thank you.